part of what we did a couple of years ago for Rail AOK Day, I did my own little AOK tour around our organisation. So I went down as, as far as I could down towards Wollongong, out to the Blue Mountains, up to Newcastle and everywhere in between to try and capture as many of our, our people as possible. One of the stations that I visited, I don't know, I was met with a bit of you know, scepticism uh, and they were sort of looking at me going, what's this, you know? And I said, oh, it's basically a conversation starter. We're here to have conversation. I said, well, you should go downstairs and have a chat to old mate down the bottom. And it was really interesting because when, when I saw him, um, you know, he was engaging with a customer. And then he notices me and he, he acknowledges me and he's like, well, who are you? What are you doing here? I said, sorry, look, I didn't really introduce myself properly. Uh, my name's Mustafa. I'm here for Rail. Are you okay, David? We've got Quinton. We're doing some challenges. And he said, yeah, well, what if I'm not okay? I said, well, you know, if you're not okay, that's totally fine. You know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to have a conversation. And, and if there's anything I can help you with, well, well, let's have a chat. He started to open up to me. He started to tell me that his mother had been struggling with a mental illness for over 20 years. She wasn't getting support from the government. She wasn't getting the right medical care and, and attention that she needed. Uh, as a result of the issues that his mum was facing, his brother and sister were not talking to him. They didn't want to look after it. It was in the too hard basket. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. Not having my brother and sister in my life. I've got kids. I'm a shift worker. I need to take them to and from school. I need to manage my work around them. Mate, how do you think I'm going? And I said, well, I'm really glad that you've opened up. And like I said, you know, we haven't met before. This is the first time I'm, I'm speaking to you. But did you know that we have an EAP service? Did you know that we have a support service that your mum can actually access and, and you can get help and, and support from there? So we had a conversation for maybe seven minutes in total. And that's when he noticed Quinton. And then he said, well, what's this, what's this thing that you've got anyway? I said, well, basically what we're doing, we're taking Quinton around, he's having conversations with people, uh, take on a conversation challenge, and, you know, if you're happy with the challenge, push the button. He goes, all right, I'll have a go. And it comes up and he says, yep, I accept the challenge. I said, oh, great, what's, what's the challenge? And he said, oh, I want to say thank you to someone who has made a difference in my life. I said, well, that's awesome. He said, I've been working here for over 25 years, and you're the first person who's actually stopped, who's actually asked me, and really taken an interest in, in what's going on for me. Um, so I want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you've really made a difference. If you look at the four steps um, that Are You Okay ask you to take on board, you know, the first is, is to ask the question. I did that in that conversation. Step two is to listen. I've encouraged him to take on that action um, by encouraging him to speak to the EAP. So that's the third step. And then that fourth step is to check back in. And so about a week later, I went through uh, the station so I was on the train and, and I stuck my head out and, um, and he saw me and he said, hey, come out, I owe you a coffee. And we had a bit of a chat and I said, how are things going? And he said, you know what, it's amazing. I've, I've been able to get a good plan in place. I've sorted things out with my brother and sister. Things are getting back on track and mate, you're a legend. And so that for me was a great experience and, and really a great way to see that conversation in action and, and how much it can truly make a difference to, to have that conversation with someone.